All right, well, check this out. Broad bean season, yeah, little ripper. We have tons of these beauties. Cannot get too much of them. So, what I'll do is when the weather cools down a little bit, it's pretty hot today, it's probably about 32 degrees. I'm gonna pick these later on because they're, I can feel they're a little soft, so we don't wanna pick them just yet. But at the same time, they're very fair, fresh and beautiful. Fantastic stuff, protein, all the protein you want. And with the spuds that we've got in the ground and a bit of protein, pretty much got all you want. All right, well, this is my veggie patch, so welcome to the veggie patch. I'll be showing you a little bit more of this sort of stuff. As you know, my plein air painting is my self-sufficiency. I live on the uh, income of that. At the same time, I also live on the food in the backyard. So I might introduce a little bit more of that so you can get to see exactly what it's all about. I'm gonna be making some, well, we're gonna add a few chooks and whatever else to the yard. So there's gonna be quite a few improvements made over the next few months. So there's plenty to watch and still plenty of painting to do. All right, well, I'll keep on getting into it, no worries. Just have a look at this stuff here, eh? We've already had the main broccoli heads quite a couple of months ago in the winter. Now I've got tons and tons of this stuff. So fresh, you just keep feeding it and it'll keep on going for months. As it starts to bolt to seed, like some of these ones, here we go here, it's got a few flowers on it. Just snap it off to prevent it bolting to seed. Just keep on feeding and watering it. You'll have broccoli for months on end. Cooked or raw? Hmm. I just love to get in amongst the garden, really get in amongst the dirt. Okay, so I've got the tomatoes in. Nice, fresh crop, really warm weather, just coming on, late spring now. Fantastic stuff, they're really starting to take off. Like I said, got the broccoli, there's lettuce, there's just food all around, it's great stuff. Look at that. Nothing better than just eating straight out of the garden like that. Now today we're just going for a really simple still life subject inside the fantastic shed, a humble apple. Nothing more, that's it. Okay, so I've got a few colours here. Cobalt blue, burnt sienna, alizarin crimson, cad red, yellow ochre and white. Alright, now alizarin crimson, burnt sienna, this will be for the dark of the apple. That 
just putting the tones in, starting dark and then working the lights over it. Nice, simple study of an apple on a rustic wooden bench. That's the whole idea of the painting. Nothing to get, not going to get too carried away with uh, extra bits and pieces. Working on sticking that richness in, richness of tone, darkening the colour, darkening the tone into here, which is the shadow. See, so you're constantly working with the colour of the apple, but also the light and tone. So there's different tones, so that'll be the shadow side, obviously. So that apple's starting to take shape now by the looks of it. Starting to glow now, which is good. Constantly working on form and edges. Well, you can see I pretty much, it's pretty much got the big picture. I mean, we've got the essential shape of an apple now on a rustic bench. What I reckon I'll do is I'll just leave it at that. It was just a demonstration about painting something nice like that. And something nice like this is fantastic shed, so. Might have a break now and actually eat that apple <laughs> and uh, get the camera off and we'll have a closer look at everything. Alright, no worries, thank you.
Yeah. All right, so we've just strung a bit of a line on the uh, tomato stakes. I'm using metal stakes and wire. Works quite well. And I'll weave the tomatoes in as time goes on. We're coming along.
All right, well, there you go. That's a bit of an insight into my simple living and self-reliance as an artist. Now, I hope you enjoyed the program, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, forward it on to your friends, and share the videos. All right, I've got to get this painting off to a client, so I better get going. But until next time, I'll see you later. Thank you.